In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an, a pet to the pet established system. To do this, you must be in the pet section of your pet established dashboard. Once you are here, to add a pet, you can go to Actions and click Add Dog or Add Cat, depending on the pet type you're adding to the system. Once you click this button, you will be brought to a page where you can enter in all of the pet's information. You will notice there are many fields on this page, and you can start with the pet's name, the pet's status, uh, and then you'll notice that every pet has these two drop-downs, which are actually very important. They are the links to the adoption application and the foster application on the pet's profile page. If they are set to visible, people will be able to click on the pet, click on the application, and fill out an online form if you choose to create one. For more information on how this works, please check out our applications tutorials. Just to show you what this looks like on the pet's page, if you click on the pet section, and then click on View Public Profile, you will notice that the pet has two buttons here called the Adopt and the Foster button. When you click on the Adopt button, it will bring you to the pet's online application that is linked to the pet. Please keep in mind that when you are editing a pet or adding a pet to the system, anytime you change a pet's status, these drop-downs will update automatically depending on the status. For example, if you move the pet status from Available pending adoption, these drop-downs will become invisible because it means you have found an adopter for the pet and no one else should be able to fill out an online form for that pet. Moving on, there are other fields on this page that you are going to want to fill out. You'll notice that next to gender, there is a little star that says will show on pet's public page. Any field that says will show on pet's public page will actually show up on that page that you saw earlier. Not everything on this page is mandatory, but we recommend filling it in so that way the pet has a complete profile, so when people are viewing the pet's information, they will have as much information as possible so they can better choose whether or not that pet is the right fit for them. Scrolling down towards the bottom, you will notice a few other fields here that you can fill in. And at the very bottom, we have a bunch of checklist items that will all show up on the pet's public page, such as are the shots up to date, spayed, neutered, hypoallergenic, is the pet housebroken, any special needs. Again, these are not mandatory, but we definitely recommend you fill them out. Just so you are aware, one thing we recently added to our site is the ability to set defaults for these values at the bottom and for your pet's description. For example, let's say you have all of your pets already spayed or neutered and all of your pet shots are always up to date. Instead of having to go and select yes for these values at the bottom every time you add a pet, you can actually go to the default section of your account, which is located under my account, and set the values here. Once these values are set, you can click update defaults, and then anytime you go to add a pet to the system, these values will always be marked off as yes for the pet. At the very bottom, you're actually able to select what online forms are linked to that pet's adopt and foster button. Once you click submit, your pet's information will be saved in the system and you will be able to view it in the pet section of your account. If at any time you need to edit the pet's information, you can select actions next to the pet, click on edit, and edit any of the information you would like. This concludes the tutorial for adding a pet to the pet established system and editing the pet once the information has been entered.